Hey Scorpio, so as you know, my name is Kianti Ashe and this is Blue Overhealing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be a how does your person feel about you reading, okay? So Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, Mars, or North Node, it really doesn't matter, love. If you in any way at all identify as a Scorpio, then this reading is for you, okay? Scorpio! Welcome, welcome to anybody who is new and welcome back to anybody who is returning. Love to have you here, love to see it, love to feel the love, okay? So, Cross Watcher, we're also going to be looking into how does Scorpio feel about you, okay? So, you might want to stick around. So, Scorpio, let's go ahead and dig into it. We're not going to wait, all right? Let us see. How does their person feel about them? They all fell out. I will wait for a sign from you, okay? So many things remind me of you, all right? I want to feel that way again. Beautiful. Beautiful. I feel you, spirit. The wind is blowing. It feels so good. You speak to me through music. Okay, this person could be a musician or really, really love music. And we have, I am becoming a better person. So this person is trying to become better for you they're waiting on a sign it feels like from you as to whether or not you guys are going to proceed moving into union okay i feel like this person can feel you energetically pulling away from them um possibly because they weren't necessarily giving you or the connection the attention that it deserved okay and i say that because they're like i want to feel that way again why would you say that if you're still in it and feeling it? So clearly you pulled your energy back, Divine Feminine or Divine Masculine, okay? You pulled your energy back and this other person can feel it, okay? So let us see now. <clears throat> They're getting like signs about how you feel through music because you're not telling them. So there are certain songs that you might be playing or certain songs that they'll hear on the radio and they're like, oh wow, that's making them think of you or something that they may have done or the lack thereof, things that, you know, shit, maybe things they weren't doing, okay? They're thinking about these things. But it says here from Scorpio to you, Cross Watcher, I want to be more than friends, okay? So they don't want to just be your friend. They want to be much, much more than that. How does Scorpio feel towards Cross Watcher? I wish I could take back my words, okay? So they may have said something to you, like, you know, along the lines of leave me to alone, never speak to me again, lose my number, anything like that. All right, let us see. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. So Scorpio thinks about you at night, okay? This is when they think about you the most, honestly, because it's when they can actually hear themselves think, okay? like this person thinks about you a lot at nighttime okay oh okay all right so we got uh just being near you is intoxicating i lost myself for a little while okay so scorpio had to go and do some healing all right they had to go and find themselves again but i don't feel like they don't love you they're just rediscovering who they are yeah and it says here, I hide behind material things. So they're possibly going shopping, all right, um, dressing up, doing different things with their hair or whatever to try to, like, feel better, okay? You know how some people have retail therapy? Like, when you don't feel well, you're not in the, the happiest of spaces, maybe you just go somewhere and shop. I'll go to the grocery store, you get what I'm saying? I'll go to Five Below, I'll go to Kohl's, I'll go, you get what I'm saying? Just somewhere so that, like, I can shop. <laughs> Like, you know, so maybe this person was hiding behind material things um, and not trying to face what it was that they were feeling, okay? Let us see here, this underlying energy. We need to let each other go, and it was face down. So I feel like Scorpio was at one point in time feeling like that, and then they had to, like, discover the love again or rediscover. Like, I'm telling you, it started with self, though, because somewhere along the line, Scorpio feels like they lost themselves in this connection. Everything was catered to you or catered to y'all and not really necessarily about them. So now they're taking that power back. They're saying, okay, let me make sure I'm together. Let me make sure I'm okay. All right. So it has nothing to do with them not wanting to be with you. Although at first it may have seemed like that to both of you. They were feeling like, well, damn, to hell with this connection. And you were feeling like, damn, what did I do? I'm trying to become a better person. 
but it was that they felt like they were losing themselves in you you get what i'm saying so they had to step back for a minute all right so let us see what else here thank you spirit <clears throat> give us more on the situation for Scorpio. Meditating, clearing the space, possibly burning lots and lots and lots and lots of sage, Palo Santo, cinnamon, different herbs, okay, rosemary, lavender, different things like that, okay, um, trying to cleanse themselves, burdock root, okay, different things they're saying to try to cleanse themselves, okay, possibly doing lots of detoxing as well. It says here, working out, unconditional love, genuine, certain love, okay, the love is unconditional. Give us more soulmate. You are their soulmate. Similar friendship, romantic partner. You are their soulmate. Okay. They don't want you to ever doubt that, to ever question that. Okay. What do we have here? Yeah. I feel like this. Uh, you guys are going to be moving, or somebody's moving. Maybe you're moving in together. Okay. That's what Spirit is saying. Then we have one on the table. Yes. Yeah, so I feel like somebody might be moving in together. You and this person might be moving in together. Oh. Or moving into a bigger space if you're already together. Okay, this is nice. You guys gonna make me cry. Yeah, we have settlement. Yeah, so it looks like you guys are gonna close on a home that you want. Agreement, compromise, and also um, come to an understanding with the relationship. Because I feel like with pretending here, maybe some of you have been putting it out there that you don't care, but in all actuality you do. And now you're starting to realize, like, damn, am I faking the funk? You know. Do I really care about this person? Like, is it them or is it me? See, happiness in reverse. Some of you felt like you were empty inside. You had to refill your cup and find your wholeness again. Okay, so it had very little to do with um, loving this person. But we have bounty hunter here. So the person is hunting you down. They're like chasing after you, Scorpio, because they don't want to lose you. They're terrified. Okay. Yeah, we have wish. They're like hoping and praying that you don't leave the connection. Okay. They're like, no, not my Scorpio. Okay, yeah, we have commitment. So they're willing to do whatever it takes, y'all. They're even commit, marry you. Like, they want to do whatever it takes. And trust and believe you me. It doesn't mean that, excuse me, if people get married, oh, my God, everything is magnificent. Let me put my um, glasses on because that cloud is beautiful. Wow. I feel like the situation is clearing up. Clouds carry messages. Okay, so I feel like there's very little left to be cleared out. Okay, I feel like there's very little left to be cleared out. But once it is, you're going to feel so much lighter, Scorpio. So much lighter. All right, give us more here on this connection. Thank you for that, Spirit. All right. Give us more here on this connection. This Scorpio. worth waiting for yep all right and for some of you you need to let go of control issues maybe you're trying to force the way that you want the relationship to be or the way you want the person to be on them and it's not healthy okay so it says divine timing is at work in your love life yes thank you spirit okay the situation is currently being worked on guys it's currently smoothing itself out i don't want you to overburden yourself worrying about this okay i really don't let's get more on this connection Jaded, lacking motivation, stagnant excuses. Yeah. So the person feels like you're making excuses as to why you don't want to be with them. But in all actuality, what's going on? Or for some of you too, they're saying you feel like the person is making excuses, but they're actually becoming a better person. So they're 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 telling me like, let's say for example, a person is like, oh, I gotta work X amount of hours. You like, that wasn't your shift last week. 
but they're trying to buy you this house this bigger space they're trying to do something for you here is what we're just saying so they're not making any excuses they're not pretending give us more on this connection curved okay but i feel like some of you are running from this person you're trying to detach you're trying to detach okay but I feel like this is the confirmation that you needed with the bet card. Okay, this is the confirmation that you needed that that's Bay. Okay, that is Bay. This is your soulmate. All right, so if this is your message or you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe. Peace and every.